I'm Lewis, and these are my business partners, James and Richard. We're here today to ask for a £120,000 investment for 10% of our company. About two years ago, I feel I spotted a gap in the market. I had just bought a new phone and wanted to get a cover that would not only protect the phone, but would look good too. Everything I found was uninspiring and overpriced. And after speaking with James and Richard, we really believed there was an opportunity to make tech product a little more exciting. So we launched Skinny Dip. A brand, of, a brand of accessories that merges fashion and technology. By working with young, up-and-coming artists and fashion designers, we created a range of fun, unique and quirky cases which we've begun supplying to high street fashion retailers. We believe we're the only brand catering for the fashion-conscious consumer shopping at high street fashion retailers. Thank you for listening to us, and we hope that you jump in and skinny dip with us. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I was very intrigued because whilst you were doing your pitch, James was miming it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> My mum's going to kill me. Do you do that a lot? Oh, he does it all, all day long. Yeah, right, speeches, do I'll speak and he just stands up. It's so embarrassing. If, if I was to say that I think you need to change the brand if you want to be successful, what would you say? I think we're very proud of the brand. I think we have a lot of work still to do, but I think that's where, as well as the money, the expertise that we could get from working alongside one of you guys um, can take the brand to the next level. We're not adverse to change, but change in a way that doesn't impact on our values. And as long as it doesn't change that, we would welcome any of your suggestions. James, can I say? <laughs> well done. Best answer in the den for a very long time. Do you know my background in this at all? Done a bit of research. Yeah, done a bit of research. <laughs> so you know that I'm involved with the fashion house. It was was all about clothing, but through that we discovered headphones. Yes. And actually now they're more than half of our business. So I, I absolutely get this product. So I'm gonna make you an offer. So I'm going to offer you all of the money. And I will be seeking a shareholders agreement that gives me the rights as a 25% shareholder. But I want 20% of the business. Deborah's offered 20%, which is annoying, actually. I'm going to make you an offer. The whole £120,000. But I want 30% of the business. However, the minute I get my money back, I will drop down and become an equal partner with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> Look, you three, I could work with. I think you're better than good. Using my distribution network, contacts, we could make so many things happen. Um, I'll give you all the money for 25%. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Do you mind if we just have a... Um, I'd like to thank you all very much. In an ideal world, obviously, we'd like to accept all of your offers. Um, but we've had a long think about it. So, um, um, but I think, Peter, we'd like to accept your offer. Yeah. Thank you very much, Devin. Well done. Thank you. Lewis, Richard and James have done it. It was a tense negotiation but they leave with a well-connected new business partner on board.